completely different topic. I read that you played in the big game once. Is that true? Mm, no. No, never did? No, I played it more than once. Oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I played it um, two summers ago. I played it for like the whole summer. How's Not that? the big, big game. I'm, there was a 4-8,000 and a 2-4,000. Still big. I played the 2-4,000. Okay. Um, that was great. That, that was one of the best uh, summers for poker I've had. You know, I, I really did well in that game, and, and it was over the course of like probably about 15 sessions. So it's not really enough to to say that I'm a, a winner in that game or I'm supposed to beat the game. But um, I was I was really I was full of confidence. I was I was ready to play. I was um, they were playing a, a lineup that was real conducive to my style and and the games they were playing I liked, and I just sort of took a shot and went with it. And it worked out. It did, it did. You don't play anymore when you come to Vegas in those games? No. You know, lately they've been playing a mix that, that I don't really like. They've been playing a lot of Pot Lemon Omaha, yeah. a lot of Badoogie and all these wacko games. Right. But, I don't even know how to play Badoogie. Yeah, right. don't don't learn. <laughs> but, um, all right, I think you're one of the few players, along with guys like Ivy, Antonius, who seem to get universal respect from all the communities. Old, young, live, online, everyone seems to respect your game. Why do you think that is? I, I didn't know that that was the case. So. Seems that way. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'd like to just say that's just because I'm a great player and you know they're right, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it, if it's as simple as that. There, there's many players better than me. I mean, I think for one thing, I, I'm pretty well versed in all the games, which is. Generally, you know, you, you, you'll have a greater level of respect for a guy who can play all the games, like the people you just said. Um, and I'm, I'm an aggressive, no limit holding player. I, I think I'm tough, and I think live I'm tough, and um, I adjust well to people, and I think I play better against better players, so I might get more respect from the better players than I do from average or worse players. Right. You never hear anyone say, like, you know, you hear everyone talk all the time. You never hear anyone say, Nick Shulman, bad player. You know? <laughs> you that I mean, with some of the guys. Well, I didn't know that that was true, but um, I don't know. Maybe that's just because I'm the greatest there ever was. Maybe. <laughs> what do you do away from poker? Tell me that. What do I do away from poker? Yeah. Play a lot of basketball lately. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, hang out, girlfriend or mm -hmm. friends. You know, not 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 nothing really exciting. You don't do anything else to make money, just poker, right? To make money, no. Um, I want to learn how to trade stocks, but I tried. I'm I'm no good at it, and I just a lot of people say that that it's such a correlation between poker players and and the stock market. Yeah. So I immediately thought I would just be like a super genius at the stock market, mm -hmm. and I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I gave up on that, and yeah, poker. That's it for me. All right, Nick. Back in your days playing New York cash games. You described yourself as a pretty sick guy, willing to risk whatever you had. You still think you're that way? No, not even close. I uh, no. I mean, I, I really have more respect for for my life than it is for money, because mm -hmm. you can't respect money too much when you're in this world. You know, there are units of sort of measurement, or you know, not units. Of, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> but they're like. Uh, you know, you can't look at 20000 the way that you would have before you started playing poker. Mm. Uh, so in that regard, I still have that, which is a positive quality. But, no, I'm not willing to, to risk everything I had unless it was you know, a really great situation than I would. All right. Do you see yourself playing poker forever? Playing poker forever? Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to play as much as I play now or if I'm going to travel around like I do now. But mm. so I'm always going to play sometimes. All right, Nick, thanks for coming in. All done. Thank you.